I test the positive. <laughs> more lighting good morning good afternoon even welcome back to the channel um i don't really know how to start this video so basically i'm waiting for a covid test to come back um as you can also tell i'm at my dad's i came down to see my dad and my brother um because you're able to because they're my support bubble um, um i woke up in the morning can't smell anything. On Wednesday, I did have a bit of a cold and it disappeared. Um, Friday, felt fine Friday, feel fine now, feel absolutely fine, like I feel normal. Um, but woke up yesterday and didn't have a sense of smell at all. So I booked a test. Yeah. Now, this was. A massive ball lake and you know I give credit to all the people that are working in the NHS doing all this but I was so frustrated yesterday it like it just it worked me up more than it should have so I rang 111 just to ask for a bit of advice because obviously I just had a cold so I was like you know, I know it's one of the main symptoms and stuff, but, but do you suggest getting a test, blah, blah, blah. And they said, yeah, just go and see Zai, because obviously, um, sense of smell and stuff like that can go over the cold anyway. But because obviously with COVID, just be on the safe side. So they then said, hang up from them and then to ring back on 119. So I rang them and they booked me a test in Bodmin and said between 3 and 3.30 so yeah so <laughs> I booked a test through them over the phone was told that I was going to get a um email confirmation come through and a text message just for the address because where they said it was in Bodmin I'd never heard of it let me know now we drove past it all the time now I know I've been there um didn't have anything so I was like all right okay because this is half two so I was like, well, better start going then if it's only between three and a half, three, haven't got much of a window. So I got in the car, dad drove, um, and um, got there, still didn't have anything. So I rung 119 back and I rung the lady and said, I've still not got anything. Um, you know, they're asking for a barcode. I've not had a test before. And she said, oh no, don't worry, they should still have you on the system. If not, the barcode that they give you from the test, just take a picture of it, ring us back and we will link it with you. I said, alright, okay, that's fine. So I hung up with them, I relayed onto the people actually at the testing site and they said, no, that's a complete lie. They can't do that, they can't do this, you have to do this, this and this. And I was like, <laughs> so I was getting really worked up and really frustrated because obviously I just wanted to get a test, just wanted to get over and done with. And... Um, kept getting messing around and basically I rung back and he said oh no the first guy that told you that you had a test there shouldn't have had a test said that you've got a test booked because Bobbin haven't got any slots for a while so I was like oh brilliant so the next place that had test slots was Plymouth because um they stay open till eight because the one in Bobbin finish a half three so then they can get to Plymouth I think he said that's where they were going to then get all their tests then tested so I then went back online, I did it through online this time, and I booked it with Plymouth, so we drove to Plymouth last night, um, booked it between half five and six, but we went in a bit early because they said we could, because there was no one else there, so that was good, so I didn't got it, it was horrible, I didn't film it, um, yeah, it was horrible, like, I didn't realise they used the same swab, I thought they used two swabs, but they used the same one, so if you've not had a test, they do one in the back of your throat, and they do one in your nose, oh, it made me cry, well, not cry, but tear up. Like, oh, it's horrible, I didn't like it. Um, but yeah, so it's been nearly 24 hours and I've not got anything back yet. 
I just feel really anxious and really sick because I just want to know. Um, so yeah, that's great. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go along with the journey, see how we get on. Hopefully it's negative, really hope it's negative. Because at the moment my brother and my dad are here having to stay off. So, hmm. we'll see. So, it's been a few hours. As you can tell from my effort in vlogging, I test the positive. So, there's the screenshot, just in case people don't believe. Jack's here, Dad's here, my brother's here. It's just weird because, like, I know I can't help obviously having it. And, um, everyone's getting it. I just feel so guilty for having it because now I'm putting my dad and my brother and Jack out of, well, my brother out of school but I mean he doesn't really care about that um and then but Jack and dad I care about obviously them losing money yeah, lose a half month's wages yeah so yeah don't come too close mm. please I've cried a lot today hence why I didn't feel my reaction getting the result because I was eating my tea at the time and the phone just popped up and I was like oh my god oh my god I generally don't know why I kept telling myself it was going to be negative but yeah it's weird I just can't smell anything um but I feel absolutely fine I feel absolutely fine um my eyes ache a little bit towards the evening like the end of the day they haven't as much today yesterday it hurt a bit but today it's fine so I'll just uh, keep bringing you along. Hopefully things progress better, not worse. But I think because I've already had the cold part, I think the worst has already been dealt with and I'm just getting on with it now. But I've just ordered myself a Tesco delivery shop to come tomorrow. Luckily there's lots of slots down here. Let's be honest, we were going to get it eventually, weren't we? It was just weird because you tell yourself, you tell yourself and talk to people. Like you never know anyone that's actually got yeah. it. Well, I have no idea where you, either myself or you've got it from. Mm. Me neither. It's just weird. It's just annoying. Well, I suppose you see a lot of people travelling, don't you? Yeah, from work. Not blaming them, but no. But it's frustrating, I think, because this well, is Mike very... Carmel is a really silly video. Yeah. Shut up. Because this is um a very glam angle. And you're beautiful to a blind person. Because <laughs> love is blind. <laughs> Telling me I've got a pop up for two weeks. Yeah. yeah, never mind. I've got it now. I can't do anything about it. I've had a cry about it. But yeah, I tried to. Um, get the you can get like a grant from your local council for 500 pound to help towards uh money um and i can't get it um for some reason even though it says that you can apply for it you can only get it if you claim any sort of um benefit and i don't but it's just annoying because it also says like if you earn less than three hundred fifty pound a week, then click here. So I did, and you're still not eligible for it. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back. Not welcome back to the channel. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back to the next day. I think of me filming this. I can't actually remember the last time I filmed. I look an absolute state, so I apologise. But I'm not going out anywhere. I can't go anywhere, so. So no, wa no hair wash day today and my little bits are coming out everywhere. So anyway, I can't remember the last time I filmed for this. I think the last thing I filmed was basically saying I tested positive. Mm. Um, still no like new symptoms or anything. Literally still can't smell anything. There's 
been a couple of things that I've been able to smell um so like when I do like air freshener or hairspray or deodorant I don't know if it's because it's coming out in like a I don't know how to explain it like a spray I don't know because I'm also inhaling it so I don't know but any like food or anything like that I can't smell or I can't smell um, when I'm in the shower I can't smell any like beauty products or anything um but yeah like my dad's got an air fresher that squirts out all the time and it's a bit like a vapory type one and that's the only thing like i can sort of smell so i don't know if it's like because it's got to be like a vapor or a spray it's all just a bit weird but they're the only things at the moment i can just about smell um and we also know i'm ill because i've broke out a lot and it's like make me already gross actually um yeah i've broke out it was gross um but I just thought I'd talk about symptoms. Basically, like Wednesday, I came down with a bit of a cold, like I think I've said. Then Saturday felt absolutely fine, felt better than I never had. Sunday felt absolutely like back to normal again, and then that's when I couldn't smell anything. I knew something was maybe a little bit wrong. It was a bit TMI, skip this if you want. I was getting a bit of tummy trouble, um, so you can take that what you will. Um, but I looked it up and you can get like three types of problems with COVID. You can get the respiratory, I can't say it, respiratory with your breathing. So it can affect your breathing so it's not affected my breathing or anything. Or you can have like tummy problems, like gas gastrointestinal problems or however you say it. And there was another one, I can't remember what that one was. I think that one occurred more in elderly people. I think maybe it was a combination of both. Um, so yeah, I've had a bit of like tummy trouble um there's nothing to say that it's actually definitely linked but because it's like a flu you can tend to get that with the flu so it's basically a little bit like the flu isn't it but you know i feel fine now ish um yeah but yesterday i did feel a bit better so i did bake some cookies i'll go show you them so i baked some bueno cookies they are really nice and i think today i'm gonna make some crunchy ones and then um and then Jack's mum sent us a little treat off of Amazon and it's, um, it's like a sweet box and it's just jam packed of just some really good sweets. So I can't wait to have that. I love popping candy. So yeah. So when I'm not in my room, I do put my mask on just so, you know, I'm not breathing on anything around my family and that. Um, and I'm wiping anything that I touch down. Um, hand sanitizer my hands all the time um and yeah but i'm gonna cook everyone some bacon sandwiches now um yeah and i think i'm just going back to my room to take my mask off thought it was a do me advent calendar so what is it today the fourth today i can't find it i'll do it in a bit um oh i just found it as a border <laughs> um I can't remember what I was going to say now but I think I'm basically just going to end this here because obviously I don't think anything else is going to get like this basically so I'm off now till the 10th I think and then I go back the 11th to work I think I'm not sure obviously if anything changes in the last 48 hours of when I have to go back to work then obviously I have to stay off um, but yeah great if you've had it let me know what your symptoms were and how you felt and it's just very crazy it's just irritating i suppose that i've done everything that you men do to prevent it and i'm the one that gets it it's it just it really bugged me and like it really stressed me out for the first couple of days because i just thought well what's the point in looking after everything and doing everything that you're meant to be doing and then you still get it it was it was really hard but yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you for coming along on my COVID journey. <laughs> a little bit of a COVID journey. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll just see you next week, which I think will probably be decorating the flat because I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we'll just see you next week with another video. Um, and hope you're doing well because now when this goes up, um, you will be able to go out shopping and go to the pubs and... Well, some people can go to the pubs and restaurants and stuff like that. So I hope you're all enjoying that. I wish I could go out. I need to go shopping. Um, but yeah, anyway, see you next week with another video. With another video. Bye.